we will be learning about liquidity ratio okay in that we will be learning about what is a quick ratio now quick ratio is also known as acid test ratio okay so what is a liquidity ratio liquidity ratio is an ability of the business to pay its short term liabilities okay so ability of business to pay its short term liabilities is nothing but your liquidity ratio okay so we have already seen current ratio in our previous video now what is a quick ratio of or a liquidity ratio now quick ratio is quick assets upon quick liabilities okay now there are two three ways in which quick ratio is calculated okay depending upon the conservative principle or depending upon the uh, the nature of the business sometimes quick ratio is also calculated as quick assets and current liabilities okay you are not taking only quick liabilities you are taking current liabilities so this is a more conservative approach in calculating your quick assets quick as a quick ratio okay now let's understand first what is a quick assets okay quick assets is equal to your current assets okay minus your inventories okay so quick assets means your current assets minus your inventories or stock okay so in short quick asset means only assets which are which can be converted into cash in the near future okay so quick asset consist of only cash and near cash assets so what all does it include it includes your sundry datas quick assets okay quick assets what all does it include it will include your sundry datas then cash and bank balance okay then receivables and accruals okay loans and advances okay so which can be converted immediately into cash all this assets are known as quick assets okay so which are more liquid than your current assets since the stock or inventory cannot be readily converted into cash immediately it is not included in your quick assets okay now let us understand what is a quick liabilities let us understand what is a quick liabilities okay so your quick liabilities will include your current liabilities minus your bank overdraft or cash credit minus your cash credit so what is this quick liabilities is the liabilities that portion of the current liabilities which will fall due immediately okay since the bank overdraft and cash credit can be used as a source of finance as and when required they do not fall due immediately so they are not considered in the quick liabilities okay now we will see the two formulas for quick ratio or it is also known as acid test ratio so acid test ratio is quick assets upon quick liabilities there is one more approach in which you calculate acid test ratio that is quick assets upon current 
liabilities this is a more conservative approach since you are considering current liabilities that is your entire current liabilities instead of only quick liabilities in the denominator this is more conservative approach now some in some examples or some uh, approach you may find that in quick assets you are reducing inventories and you are also reducing your prepaid expenses okay since prepaid expenses are already being paid they cannot be easily converted into cash they are reduced this is one more approach on how to calculate quick asset but usually it's current assets minus inventories okay so finally ratios are what it's for the purpose of your analysis so it depends on your nature of the business the organization as to how will you calculate a particular ratio and how will you analyze it so there are different approaches in calculating your quick ratio or asset test ratio okay now let's see one example and calculate the quick ratio or asset test ratio okay now this is a quick ratio or asset test ratio okay so you have two companies company a and company b now you have sundry debtors, inventories, cash and bank balances, creditors for purchases, outstanding expenses and bank overdraft. Okay. Now they again what is the current ratio? So current ratio of a company A is 3.42 and company B is 1.25. That means the current assets are 3.42 times more than the current liabilities. And in case of company B, current assets are 1.25 times more as compared to current liabilities. So company has excess of current assets to cover it, current liabilities, whereas company B has a limited current assets. That is, yeah, their current ratio is less than 2. So it has just 25% more of as current assets to cover its current liabilities. Okay. Now let us analyze a quick ratio. Okay, what is a quick ratio? Now let me first write a formula. Okay, it's also known as a acid test ratio. Okay, so there are two approaches. First approach we will see that is quick assets upon quick liabilities okay so quick assets is nothing but all your current assets minus inventories minus inventories right whereas quick liabilities is all current liabilities right minus bank overdraft minus your cash credit right so now for company a okay so we will take all the current assets in the numerator except for inventories for company a it's how much 1 lakh plus 2 lakhs is inventories, we will ignore it, plus 3 lakhs, okay, divided by quick liabilities, so what is quick liabilities, you have creditors for purchases, and you have outstanding expenses, and you have bank overdraft, so bank overdraft will not consider it, okay, in this approach, since it's not a quick liability, so it will be 1 lakh, plus, 50,000 okay so how much does that come to 4 lakh divided by 1 lakh 50,000 so that is that is 2.67 okay so for company A their quick assets is 2.67 times more as compared to their uh, quick liabilities so company ha a has a sufficient quick assets that is only cash or near cash assets to cover their quick liabilities okay now let's see for the company b for company 
B. Okay, how much it is? See, debtors are fifty thousand plus inventories. We are not considering cash and bank balances fifty thousand. Okay, so divide by creditors for purchases again one lakh plus your outstanding expense fifty thousand. And twenty fifty thousand of bank overdraft we are not considering since it's a not a quick liability, right? So how much does it come to? One lakh divided by one lakh fifty thousand. Okay, so how much is that? That is zero point six seven. Okay, now if you see company B doesn't have a sufficient quick assets to cover its quick liabilities. Okay, zero point six seven. That is, it is less than one. If it was one, at least your quick assets were equal to quick liabilities. Now this is very risky, risky ratio, right? The company has to maintain its quick assets. At least equal to its quick liabilities. Its quick ratio has to be at least one. Okay, what does it mean if the quick ratio is one? That your current quick liabilities and quick assets are equal. Now, in this case, if the company is required to pay its quick liabilities today itself, at the end of the day, it won't be able to pay since the quick assets are only one lakh rupees and quick liabilities are one lakh fifty thousand rupees. Okay, so this is a very risky ratio. As as far as the liquidity of company B is considered, okay, so it has to analyze. Then it has to take some funds from its long-term investment, okay, or it has to borrow some funds and it has to increase its cash and bank balance here, okay, okay, so that it it has it should at least maintain a quick ratio of. One okay. Now again, this is a standard thing. Okay, quick ratio of one. But if it's a company specific, the company standard is such that industry specific standard is such that the company can maintain a quick ratio of say zero point eight or zero point nine, and it is able to perform efficiently. Then it can think of keeping the quick ratio as it is. Okay. So, this is one of the indicator of the immediate liquidity of the company. Now we'll see the second approach, okay, of a asset test ratio. That is a more conservative approach of a asset test ratio. Now let's see one more approach of calculating a quick ratio, okay? So, one more conservative approach of calculating a quick ratio or asset. Test ratio is equal to your quick assets upon instead of quick liabilities, you take current liabilities. Okay, and in quick assets is your current assets minus inventories. And you may also reduce your prepaid expenses if they cannot be converted into cash. Sometimes what happens is there are some AMC expenses which are paid. Okay, so they are not refundable, right? So in that case, once paid, they are paid. They are not. They cannot be refunded. They will not be refunded by the company even if you don't use the services. So in that case. While calculating a quick asset, you have to reduce such prepaid expenses also. Okay, now let's see for company A. Okay, your quick assets is what sundry debtors plus cash and bank balances. Okay, inventories you are not considering one lakh plus three lakh. Divide by your entire current liabilities. Now, entire current liabilities is what? One lakh plus fifty thousand plus twenty-five thousand plus fifty thousand plus twenty-five thousand. Right? You are considering bank overdraft also. You are considering the entire current liabilities in this approach instead of quick liabilities. So, how much does it comes to? Let's calculate. So, it comes to. Two point two eight for company A. 
okay now for company b okay your quick assets is what 50000 plus 50000 50000 sundry data plus 50000 cash and bank balances divided by your current liabilities that comes to 1 lakh plus 50000 plus 50000 right so this total comes to 0 0.5 okay so now if you see why i call this as a more conservative approach is if you see in our earlier approach the quick ratio of a company was 2.67 whereas in this conservative approach it is 2.28 okay so here you are analyzing whether your quick assets will be able to cover all your current liabilities okay that includes your bank overdraft cash credit facilities also okay so quick ratio in this approach has come lesser than the earlier one okay now for company b also earlier the quick ratio was 0 0.67 okay anyway it was less than one in this approach since it's a conservative approach it has come to 0 0.5 okay that is less than your earlier approach now if you see for company a 2.2 your quick ratio is quite high okay so your quick ratio should be greater than or equal to 1 if it is very high you need to analyze whether you are efficiently using your current assets or quick assets okay and if the quick assets are more okay very high as compared to your current liabilities you can think of investing it in the long term investment like for example in the case of company a it has 3 lakh in cash and bank balances very high liquidity right so it can think of shifting some funds from their normal cash and bank balance to long term investment okay in case of company b the ratio is very low that is it is less than one okay so the company needs to think that it won't be able to cover all its current liabilities or even for that matter its quick liabilities by selling its quick assets so it should so it should think of availing some bank overdraft okay or some short term loan for the purpose of covering its quick current liabilities right so so that its quick ratio it is maintained at least equal to one so this was about your quick ratio or a asset test ratio thank you